Belly dancers, hello, welcome. Pregnant mamas, this is one of your labor and delivery moves. So let's get right to it. If you need a longer talk in posture or would like a warm up, those videos are available. Otherwise, let's jump in. Posture reminder, we're in alignment. Ears, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles. Mamas might like to open the ankles a little bit. Just find what feels good there for you. Let's make sure the pelvis is in neutral and the rib cage is nice and open. And let's begin to drop and lift the hips. We're listening to Upper Egypt Ensemble. I recommend supporting them. They're fantastic, authentic Egyptian music. Speaking of Egyptian dance, this is how you would drive a a hip movement or one of the common ways to drive a hip movement in Egyptian belly dance. Moving from the hip. Just notice how that feels. Okay, let's go ahead and lift one foot off the ground or just kind of lift the heel either way as a reminder. And now try to lift the hip. And notice how muscularly it's also available and possible for you here. Dropping the feet back down, squeeze alternately your butt cheeks as well. Just noticing, again, noticing the availability, the options here on how we move. It depends why you're here. Are you a technique junkie and you're just kind of picking stuff up, trying to figure out where you fit in? If you're going Egyptian, working the knees. If you're more tribal fusion feeling, then maybe stick into these muscles and work that area. If you're pregnant, you're just here learning, find what feels good. Pregnant ladies will need to learn the butt cheek technique. <laughs> so maybe give that a whirl and the otherwise you can just choose your own adventure. Labor and delivery is a different video. All right, so this move, now find the pelvis in neutral and just move it up and back. So you might just think of the pelvis as a bowl, spilling water out the back and out the front. And again, you don't have to go very fast, we're just noticing. And notice the tendency to want to drop in. We're not doing cat-cow, which feels good. <laughs> and we can just take a moment here and say, you know, you can do cat-cow from this position if you don't feel like getting on your hands and knees. You would just inhale. Exhale. All right, unpressing pause, back to your posture, back to the pelvis, right? So we're leaving the chest out of this. Okay, coming back to the center, we're going to combine all four of those movements into making a circle. So I'm just gonna move around so that you can see my pelvis moving from the different angles. But I'm basically going side, front, side, back. Or side, back, side, front. I'm basically starting somewhere, start wherever you want. I have a tendency to start on the right. Start where you like. We're going counterclockwise right now. If you're going clockwise, just stick with that. And now that we switch, now you switch. Switch your direction. Think of your tailbone, that pointy thing, right? If it was to go all the way to the ground, or if there were a pendulum hanging off of it, and it were just to make a small circle on the ground. All right, so this is your hip circle. And again, you can create this with your knees with a lot of, like, the knees being in the driver's seat. It's got a certain feeling to it. And you can create this with your muscles here, inside and outside, above and below the line of action, right? A lot of muscles. And, like, this is the one that you would figure out how to do this maybe on your knees, right? If you couldn't find it on the ground, because here you take your knees out of it and you figure out, aha, and then you can also do it with your butt cheeks. Squeeze, one, both, one, release. 
I don't normally choose this version in performing, but it could happen. But this is a good for prenatal belly dance, so it's a good technique to have. And you may be working on your glute strength, so. All right. Have a great one out there, and I'll see you next time.